The city of Fort McMurray has been plagued by certain stereotypes across Canada. It's cold, it's isolated, while the men who reside there are young and love to fight. But the stories in this city are real and inspiring. Local firefighter Bo Cooper is just one of these stories. And it all started with something so small, but left him fighting for his life. I was just sick, fever, chills. Uh, the guys at work were like, oh man, something's wrong, joking around with me. And after, you're gonna code, code is a heart attack or something. Keep the pads by uh, joking around with me. We never thought much of it, just maybe some allergies or something. Bo had just started his career as a firefighter and as a part-time mixed martial artist, but his illness was taking control and a number of tests proved everyone's worst fear had finally come true. My doctor in town, Dr. Booty, started doing all these different things. It must be uh, something in your spinal cord or meningitis, things like that. So they do spinal taps on you, it comes back nothing. So eventually they do a bone marrow. They pull out some, take this big needle, shove it into your kind of your hip, pull out some of your bone marrow. And they look at that bone marrow, and that's where they can tell if you have things like leukemia, and stuff like that, which I have, which I had. You would think leukemia would knock a man down and keep him down for the count. But some people, like Bo, held on, not only for himself, but for his teammates in and out of the gym. Yeah, about two and a half years of chemo, therapy, radiation to the brain, spinal cord, uh, more of those bone marrows, put, um, put more chemotherapy right into your, into your spinal cord, and then put some in your muscles. They kind of just whack it out of it as hard as they can. It's the most intense thing you can kind of do for cancer to try to get it out in your system, put you back in remission. Yeah. So they pound it, put you up, they balance the verge of killing you and not killing you. And you know, some people are lucky and get out, fight it, and some people aren't so lucky. It's where fighting for life was like fighting an opponent in the cage. It came down to preparation and a desire to go on. Yeah, my mindset was always strong. Like it. There was never a doubt where I, I couldn't afford to think like that. And I just never really did. And my family is so supportive. My, my girlfriend, Irish, were there the whole time, right? Just stopped what she was doing to come with me. I had to move to Edmonton to the cross cancer. That's where they do the treatment. And yeah, we went from there and we just gave it everything I got. I met Bo back when I was actually partnered up with uh, Gracie Barra Jiu Jitsu. I was just teaching boxing classes in the gym here, and Bo was one of, the, one of his students. When I ended up taking the gym over, I learned about Bo's past where he just finished beating cancer and stuff like that. Learned that he's a firefighter. And uh, when I took over the full gym, Bo decided that he was going to fight under my, my under sweet science for me in an MMA fight. But Bo's a very strong individual. I know it's his first MMA fight, but I think he's still going to do really well. He's fighting a little bit more of an experienced guy, but I don't know. Bo's got a lot of heart, a lot of dedication. Well, my second fight, we actually dedicated to Bo because uh, we weren't sure if he's going to live. And he ended up beating leukemia. And we dedicated the whole camp, the whole fight to Bo, and, and it was one of the greatest experiences ever. With the support of teammates, Bo is now out of survival mode and is relishing at the chance to compete, and it all starts with a proper mindset. Just keep your mind, keep your mind strong. And, you know, never give up. There's always a chance, no matter what they tell you. No, it's all on you, it's all what your mind thinks, what you feel. So just stay strong, chin down, hands up, just give her all you got. Holding on and continuing to fight for Go, I'm Doug Roxburgh.